right around 10 years ago, I used to sleep right here. You see, when I got out of college, I worked for a beekeeper and then for Terminex. And both jobs paid me, give or take, around 1600 bucks a month. The same price as a studio apartment costs, not including food or anything else. So I couldn't afford anything. So I slept there and I worked hard. And I'd get out of bed sometimes and I'd sit right here. We're, see, we're on a road that goes into one of the most luxury parts of Camarillo. And every time a car would drive by, I'd think, man, that car is worth more than I make in pff, years. Each of these houses are now worth around two million. At the time, they were still worth quite a bit too. And I used to think, man, if I only made a fourth of what these people made, I'd be happy. And I was determined to make it work. And so I worked for a beekeeper and then in pest control, then I opened my own beekeeping business. And I worked hard for about four years before I gave up. I packed my stuff and moved to Washington place I'd never been before. Uh, total strangers, total weird part of the world. I knew nothing about it. And I got into pest control and um, it didn't work out so good. I got my real estate license and the community embraced me and loved me. We were selling between four and eight homes every single month. Um, I couldn't believe how good everything was going. I had a son. Then the pandemic happened. And I thought to myself, man, if I was doing this good back home, I'd be set for life. I wanted to raise my son in the same community that I grew up in, because I think Ventura County is one of the best places in the whole world. So we moved back in the pandemic, and to be honest, I haven't really sold many houses. The ones I have sold, I've spent a lot of money to do, whether it's a Zillow lead or Realtor.com, um, mailers, all kinds of other stuff I've done, I've spent just about the same amount as I made, which I didn't mind. I've been living off of my company, Brian's Bees, to make ends meet for the last couple years. And then any money I made off real estate or off of my Christmas company was just a bonus. But this year, bees kind of crashed and burned. We didn't make much. So if I can't make some money, I'm gonna be in trouble. So for the next six months until the end of Christmas in February, um, we are going to do a challenge. We're gonna do this blog, vlog, whatever you wanna call it, every single day. And we're going to push as hard as we can to make the people here in Ventura County like me a fraction. Let's say one fourth, just like the houses. A fraction of the amount that they liked me as a complete stranger up in Washington. And if in six months I don't sell at least three or four houses, um, I think we're going to have to go back. Not that I want to, I want to raise my son here. It's all he knows, he knows the trampoline parks and has friends here and we've gotten really well established, right? But um, if we can't make it work, we're gonna be in trouble, we're gonna have to leave. So I would love for you to join me on this adventure for the next six months and see if we can make it here in California or if we have to pack our bags and go home. So we're gonna be doing everything that I know how to do and everything I've learned over the last six years in real estate. We're gonna be putting out door hangers, we're going to be cold calling, we're going to be doing events and throwing absolutely everything uh, and the kitchen sink at this project to see if we can make it. So let's get started and you get to see my day and we'll just do this every day until we either make it or we don't. So the first thing on the schedule this morning is an office meeting. There's a big change coming in a week for uh, all of real estate nationwide, but specifically Ventura County kicks in on the 17th. So we're having a big meeting about those changes, what it means and how we can serve our clients better in all the confusion that's to come. So we just finished up the meeting. Uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm actually really excited for the new changes that are happening in real estate. So now let's actually get to making some money. We're going to go to our open house. And if we have time, we're going to try and do a couple other projects after that. Let's go. All right. So we're at our listing here. Uh, time for the open house. We've been trying to sell this home for a while. It's been almost two months on the market. So fingers crossed, we can get more activity using these open houses and whatever else we can throw at it to get this thing sold. Um, the seller is really motivated. We really want to get it done. So when we come into an open house, we have to prep, right? 
So we got all our windows open, make sure we got fresh air. We got our buyer and seller guides all set up here and our uh, senior books, really proud of these. Um, everything else we need to kind of give people info on the property. And then I always try to have something to do if and when it's slow. So there's new open house rules. We have to get basically stuff signed before people can come into open houses. That's gonna start next week, or if you're watching this, probably about now. Um, so I need to get familiar with all the forms and all the changes and everything else that's going on. And if we have time after that, we'll try and do some walkthroughs of this property on live and just generally try to keep busy while we invite people to come and check out the home. All right, we got our open house done. It is now three o'clock. So we had a couple people come through, but mostly neighbors, no one really serious. So we gotta do something to get this place sold. But that aside, it's only three o'clock on a Saturday. We got a couple hours. So I think we're going to try to knock on some doors or do something for the next couple hours because we gotta get some business going. All right, so I was gonna door knock, but then I was reminded it's my lady's birthday and we have stuff to do this evening, so we have less time. So we're going to record the monthly market update and from there, we're probably going to just go and enjoy the evening and hit tomorrow even harder. Now time for some dinner. Gonna get some urban plates and then do a birthday movie. Right. and now it's movie time. All right, gym's all done, got back home, got the kids fed, in bed, ladies in bed, <laughs> right? And now we're gonna do some homework. We have some uh, home lists to look up for some potential new clients. And then we're going to work on our books. We're making three new books. I'm really excited to get them all out. Uh, one's already released. So, you know, pretty soon here, we'll have all kinds of really cool content out for everybody. And that will be a whole story once they're done. So don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.